you know, a fuel cell is like a battery. And uh, the heart of a fuel cell is what is known as a membrane electrode assembly. I'm holding it in my hand. And we have an anode, and behind I have a cathode. An anode, we have a catalyst, a noble metal catalyst called platinum ruthenium to oxidize methanol to CO2, protons and electrons. And the protons that is produced travel through the membrane called a proton conducting membrane arrives at the cathode on the other side. And the electricity can go through a wire and arrive at the cathode and oxygen from the air can be picked up and we have platinum metal on the cathode side. So, oxygen, protons and electrons can get reduced to water. So, it is basically you are burning methanol and air in a battery, you are not making heat. The energy that was present in the chemical bonds is directly converted to electrical energy. Now, just to show you how simple this technology, this membrane electrode assembly, I have put this in a little toy we have built and the cathode has a holes here as you can see, it can take oxygen from the air. At the anode, I have a little reservoir and right now what I am going to do is take few milliliters of methanol and water and then put it in the anode compartment of the direct oxidation methanol fuel cell. In the moment the fuel hits, the fan starts rotating. So, it is making electricity at about 40 percent efficiency. The energy, the chemical energy that is present in methanol is oxidized to CO2 and water and 40 percent of the energy is converted to electrical energy in this gizmo. So, these fuel cells are very, very simple, you know, there are no moving parts. Eventually, these kind of technologies will also power, for example, your uh, automobiles, your uh, trains, buses, trucks of that nature too. And uh, we are looking forward to seeing these things happen.